the 2022 class of European Space Agency astronauts. The selective group of five, consisting of two women and three men, beating out more than 22,000 applicants for the role. Among them, French helicopter pilot Sophie Adno, joining the ranks of fellow Frenchman Thomas Pesquet. I'd like to know how he was able to accomplish so much and inspire so many young people. I'm in awe. That will come naturally, you will see. I have no doubt. We are going to work together. We've had some bumps in the road, so we can show you the ropes to navigate that. Along with career astronauts, 12 other candidates were selected for training, including former British Paralympic sprinter John McFall, making history by becoming the first ever recruit with disabilities. When it's announced they were looking for a candidate with a physical disability, I thought it was such an inspiring uh, and exhilarating opportunity. And I felt compelled to try and help ITSA uh, answer this question, can we get someone with a physical disability uh, to do meaningful work in space? The astronaut recruits were named following three days of meetings in Paris on the agency's future funding. Ministers from ESA's 22 member states have agreed on an increased budget of 16.9 billion euros for the next three years, in a bid to give Europe a competitive edge in space against the United States and China.